So hey guys, Caleb here, KB Productions, and for today's video, I actually have a review of the LEGO Star Wars uh, 75300 Imperial TIE Fighter 2021, uh, it came out earlier this year, uh, bought it for, I think it was retail price, yeah, retail price at Walmart, no, at Target, I got it at Target, um, I mean to do a review on this. But I built a monk on my table. I couldn't do a review on it. Finally got to move that out of the way since it's finished now and it's stable. Move it fairly well. But um, the set it retails for forty bucks. It's a forty dollar Tie Fighter, which is fairly cheap for a Tie actual Tie Fighter. Um, it has your basic, you know, Tie Fighter play playability things. So to get to the actual set. Here is the set itself, the actual TIE Fighter. We'll first actually go through the figures of the set. So first, well, first figure we will go with, you do get a, obviously, an Imperial TIE Fighter pilot. This is your normal Imperial TIE Fighter. I don't have a different Imperial TIE Fighter pilot to compare him to. So, yeah. But he does come with a little blaster pistol, and the printing on him is pretty nice he looks looks pretty good back he has a little bit of back printing in this head shows a little bit there in the back but I don't really care about that you do get one protocol droid this droid is actually NIL8 NIL8 protocol droid they do use this one I think this head was originally introduced in some Clone Wars sets back when the original Clone Wars movie came out. A little Clone Wars movie where Ahsoka Tano was introduced and there's the little droid in I think it was I don't know for sure but maybe it was originally in the B-Wing because I think the B-Wing did have this type of protocol droid with that specific um, helmet. But it does have printing on the body. Obviously the the body, uh, the stomach looks like C-3PO's. A little bit of printing on the back and yeah it's the protocol droid. But then you get a Imperial Stormtrooper. Basic Imperial Stormtrooper. I do have another Imperial Stormtrooper, but they are in the box. I can't get them out right now. But it is the same from the 20th anniversary. Was it 20th anniversary? Is it? Yeah, 20, the 20 year anniversary. Um, the little kind of battle pack thing they had with the Stormtroopers, like the remake of the you know, older battle pack. It came with three regular Stormtroopers and one. It's not a pilot, but it's a black stormtrooper. Don't know why. It's like a little gun gunship kind of thing, but it's the exact same. I think the printing on the body. I think everything is actually the same. Uh, I'll have to get it out later and look through it. But um, yeah, back printing. Uh, the back printing actually looks pretty good on the stormtrooper. Now on to the actual set itself. So it's a Tie Fighter. Boom. You, that's, your, that's your basics. It's a Tie Fighter. Nothing. I don't have any older TIE Fighters to compare it to, so I don't know the difference between each TIE Fighter. Like the last TIE Fighter, I don't know. I don't have any other TIE Fighter. This is the first TIE Fighter I've actually owned. Um, so obviously, you got the classic, I forget what shape this is, but this the classic TIE Fighter wing, obviously. The building, the only thing I don't like about this, I think um, their production also points this out. They don't make this piece right here in that gray so you kind of just have this dark gray piece that sticks out and just like very fairly noticeable it just sticks out you know everything's gray you got everything's gray and black and you just got these two you just got these dark gray pieces on the wings so that's kind of kind of weird um yeah so obviously the wings actually pop out fairly easily so if you just want the ball like, um i thought about I may get another one to make a Thai bomber, make a custom Thai bomber. That would be something cool to do. But if you want to, obviously, <laughs> take it off. It's just a little pod. I think, I don't know for sure, but I think the Star Wars, there's a, may not be this version, maybe a different version, but it's like a special escape pod. I kind of just, I think it's this version. Some of the cannon, like the wings pop off and it can be used, the main ball can be used as like an escape pod. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think that's what it was, maybe been a different type of TIE Fighter. But obviously, you can have, you have your, your glass opens up and you can put your TIE Pilot in there. You can put your TIE Pilot in there, boom, he's piloting his TIE Fighter. 
I'm gonna go take out some Rebels. Close it up, and it fits pretty seamlessly, to be honest. The, uh, the top, this little PC on the top, it does move around. It kind of just, it's just on that one stud there, so it does move around quite a bit, but um, opening and closing it is pretty, pretty nice and easy, pretty smooth. And obviously, you do have the little uh, flick fire missiles. So, yeah, those are always fun to have in a set. I guess for kids, I don't know, so I'll probably actually put this on display somewhere. I'm getting some new shelving soon, hopefully, so I could have that for display. But yeah, overall, this is a pretty good set for $40. Um, I don't, as I said, I don't have anything to compare size wise, and yeah. But um, I hope y'all did enjoy the video, and I guess I'll see you guys in the next one, which it will be an X Wing video, because I did just buy the X Wing up there. I'm not going to show much because the box there, I'm saving that for another video, which I'll probably do within the next few days, hopefully. But I will also have a review of the X-Wing out. So you get the X-Wing back there I just bought today. I don't even have it out of the sack yet. So yeah, hope y'all didn't enjoy this review, and I'll see you guys in the next one.